Today feels like a great day and I'm going to spoil myself with some pilau. So we are making some chicken pilau and with me here I have my ingredients. So I have my onions. For pilau you need lots and lots of onions. I have my garlic and ginger that I'm going to grind through a paste. I have my cooking oil. I have my chicken and these are two chicken rice and some two chicken wings but I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to go about them in a few. I have my unwashed rice and I'm going to be washing this also in a few. I have my salt and my pilau masala. Today we are going to be doing it a little bit different and I'm I'm going to start off by marinating my chicken with the usual spice mix whenever I'm making chicken. In the meantime, I'm going to blend this to form a very smooth consistency. I'm also going to chop my onions as my chicken is marinating and I'm also going to wash my rice. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start off with the usual spice mix. And I'll add in some garlic. I'm going with some turmeric as well. And for my chicken masala, I really love this spice. And you can see it's almost over and we just filled it the other day. Finally, some paprika. Then I'm going to mix this the spices are well combined uh, and I'm also going to break these huge lumps of uh, spices so that we can have a very uniform consistency. And just like that I'm pretty sure all the spices are evenly distributed. Then we can proceed to our chicken. In a previous video I showed you how to cut your chicken without breaking unnecessary bones. You can take that out. I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to use it while making some chicken broth. Then I'm also going to separate the thigh. Then I'm going to set this aside for about 10 or so minutes as I prepare my other ingredients. Then we'll get started. So we are going to start off by cooking our chicken, about halfway cooked. And this is going to take about uh, 5 to 6 minutes thereabout. 
So I'll start by adding in a generous amount of cooking oil. Then once my cooking oil is hot enough, I'll go in with my chicken. So, I'll set that aside and I'll go in with my onion. Then, I'm going to cook my onions till they are golden brown. And this may take anywhere between 7 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to let my chicken rest and it is not fully cooked. As you can see, uh, there are some blood stains to mean that our chicken is not fully cooked. So I'll take it back in some other time later. So finally, you can see that my onions are almost there. We are almost having the color that you want, a very nice golden brown. And at this point, I'll go in with my garlic and ginger paste. So I'm adding some little water so that my onions can stop cooking at this point. Then I'm going to cover this for about a minute so that the garlic and ginger can be well done. Then I'll be back to going with the next set of ingredients. So about a minute later, you can see things start progressing on to the and this is the color that we want. So I'm going in my pillow masala. And this is what we want. Thank you. 
I'll add in some water to decrease the bottom, then you can go in with our rice. Once I'm happy with this, I'll add in my washed rice. And always remember to measure your rice as well as your water. I use one glass of rice and I use the same glass to measure my water. I'll go in with some salt. That was cold water, but if I told you have hot water, you can also use it. Then I'll be back once my water is about to go down the rice. A couple of minutes later, you can see that my water is about to go down the rice. And you can see how beautiful and yummy this looks. So I'll introduce back my chicken together with its juices. Then, if I told you have a clean thing or your lid is not airtight, you can go in the foil. And this is going to help in trapping the skin so that our rice is very visible. Then, so, I'll cover like this and I'll see once my rice is ready. And I'm also going to reduce my heat to low and let the rice cook till it's well done. By then, my chicken is also going to be well done. So this has been going on for about uh, six to seven minutes on low and I'm pretty sure my rice is ready. I'll switch that off. Then I'm going to let it sit here for about five or so minutes. Then I'll see you for serving and tasting.
So finally, my pilau is ready and I've served it with some salsa. You can find the recipe in tomorrow's episode. Wow, the salsa is amazing. Mm. Wow, just absolutely amazing. Hmm? Wow. Hmm? No time to. Hmm. Wow. I love this. You can see there's no blood at the bone. Ah, uh, that means our chicken is well done. Hmm. Wow. I hope you're going to try this recipe my way and I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. You can find the chicken pilau and the salsa recipe both on my page and that's it for today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.